In the squadron operations room, some military pilots are planning a training mission. It will consist of a training combat in a temporary reserved airspace, followed by an air-to-air -air refueling, steep descent, low-level flight, and recovery in the airbase. The fighters take off from the military base and reach, at the appropriate time, the planned airspace, whose geometry has been tailored and negotiated for air combat training requirements. Their mission has been confirmed, and they will now fly their reference mission trajectory. The airspace is activated just minutes before its use, and its activation is shared with the other users. Transit phases and airspace reservation are integrated parts of the reference mission trajectory. Now that the first part of the training session is over, the fighters will need to refuel. A join-up has been planned with tanker Alpha Mike 448 a few miles away through the precise synchronization of reference mission trajectories. The air-to-air -air refueling phase is performed within a moving airspace volume depicted around the tanker in order to segregate refueling activity from other trajectories. The fighters reach the tanker right on time. In this example, the tanker does not need to circle in a temporary reserved airspace because its mission trajectory is an effective means of allocating just the exact volume of airspace required for the refueling at the right position and for the right duration. Once the fighters have finished refueling, they can continue their exercise, while the tanker simply proceeds to the next refueling point on its mission trajectory. But they receive an emergency call from the Air Defense Center to intercept a suspicious aircraft. Now that they fly a real mission which has full priority, their new mission trajectories are created and accommodated in real time. After accomplishing their mission, the trajectory continues until recovery in the air base. It's evident that the Cesar concept needs more research and development to cover all cases, and especially to look at the interactions between the business and mission trajectories. They have different operational needs and planning cycles. In this future context, continuous information sharing is a fundamental factor. This is the challenge, to match both needs, to bring together and reconcile two different concepts of operation, while maintaining the same level of safety and improving efficiency and mission effectiveness. To meet the challenge, we need a system, and this is the role of César. This is what César will bring.